In Solihull, this is the new UK HQ of ZF, formerly known as Lucas, a supplier of car and aeroplane systems that can trace its roots back to Birmingham in the 1860s. Today, up to 750 staff work here, many of them, it turns out, very interested in the new headquarters and making it as green as possible. Just by their nature as being engineers, they're inquisitive and, and they like to question everything. So, yeah, we, we had a lot of people knocking at our door to, to, to get involved, should we say. I started to pick up some of the design of the heating, ventilation, lighting, um, just because I was interested and I thought we could do better. The established architects and the uh, heating engineers were saying, you can do this, you can do that. This is state of the art. And they're going, it's not going to be state of the art by the time my children are at your age. The engineers here turn the initial plan upside down, deciding they can make everything greener and more energy efficient. So sure, there are solar panels on the roof, but there's so much more here. Air leaving the building flows through these locally built pumps. That removes and recycles almost 95% of the heat. Inside, sensors help control their airflow, reacting to the air people breathe out, increasing the amount of air flowing through the building if there are more people inside it. So this commitment to reducing CO2 emissions even extends to the canteen, where they've introduced portion control to cut down on food waste. But it still tastes just as good. In the end, the new greener building cost exactly the same as the original plans, but it does have one other major benefit. It's going to save us money. What we've figured in is per year we think we'll be, well, I've got to speak in euros because we're a, a German-owned company, but half a million euros a year less running costs than our old building. Um, and that, that's a huge step. That's about £420,000 saved every single year. But all of this has also seen massive reductions in CO2 emissions. By next year, they could be more or less at zero. And that's not a bad result from staff having a go at going greener. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Surly Hull.